One, two, three. <laughs> The name of the recording is The Places I Used to Know, and um, directly relates to the places that I used to know in Western Kentucky, far Western Kentucky. I decided to do this recording after moving home from Chicago, and um, after a number of amazing recording sessions in Nashville with Phil Harris and I wanted to do something I really was not trying to do anything I came home and a bunch of songs came to me because of uh, things that I viewed were different from when I was a child and uh, I wanted to do something on my own in my house so I did all the recording, wrote all the songs, played all the instruments, engineered, mastered. It's been a fun process. If I had one song to choose that I think best fits my feeling towards the community, it would probably be The Place I Used to Know. Because it um, reminds me of the struggle to hold on to what is important to you and the fact that change is inevitable and things can't stay the same. My favorite song on the project is probably, from a songwriting standpoint, the song um, called LBL and his Muscle Dog Stamp. My father was a muscler. His initials are LBL, Lewis B. Lynn, which also is coincidentally land between the lakes. And when, when I was growing up, he was a muscler and I spent time on the lake with him. So metaphorically, I wrote a song about a gentleman and his dog who could dive and dig mussels up from the lake. And uh, I enjoy that story. It reminds me of my youth. I've approached this project sort of as an oral history. I'm a board member of the Kentucky Oral History Commission, and um, this is my way of doing oral history. It's stories about uh, the area I grew up in and the community. A lot of it's historical fiction, um, which I tend to do well. <laughs> um, it's hard, hard to cite everything when you're making songs out of them, but. I hope that um, people can understand the importance of remembering where you came from and trying to learn from those things that uh, you remember. Go Pirates.